I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. He... he got drunk last night and wasn't able to come with me today. Such irresponsibility. And you share his guilt for abandoning him. Although, of course, inebriation is a sin. Well, we'll see. Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Sell them or give them to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monk's robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realise how much I'd grown used to it. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like... Let's go, then. Good. But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior. Make sure to... Follow me closely. Remember I'll have one to get word. something to eat. I'm this starting to get hungry. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. Watch your step, bro. Why such haste? Pay more attention, brother. Praise be to our Lord Jesus. This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? To appreciate sleep. We rise before dawn every day. It takes a bit of getting used to. This is the girl. I feel quite hungry. A place for silent contemplation and meditation. Centuries ago, this monastery was founded by the most esteemed of brothers, Saint Procopius. His earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. As a novice, you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators. You punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. I could do with a bite to eat. This is the refectory, where we come together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of its precepts, expect a swift punishment. But I've already told you about the circuitors. The light. What is it, brother? It occurs... Lock. I'm no priest. But tell me what you've done. I'm here in the monastery. You don't say. Someone whose job it is to invest... Punishment? I don't know yet. Perhaps you could help me find him? The missing thief? I know. Aside from me, there are only four novices. Three? Please, leave me out of it. No one knows anything about Lucas. Siskin might be a lot of... Actually. <sighs> don't fret. 
I'd like to ask you... Well, that's all. I could do with a bite to eat. In a rush to pray. Why such haste? Pay more attention, brother. Slow down, but in a rush to pray? Watch your Pay step, brother. In a rush that be such haste. Lord in heaven, what have you done now? Cease this disgraceful oh, behavior. Why? Mother of God, what are you doing, you wretch? Twice before, shit. Um, yeah, after we finish this. Brother? Stealing is a sin. You should know that as a Christian, and certainly oh, as a monk. Fuck. Even if I wanted to forgive you, I couldn't. Thou shalt not steal. You d Yes.
times for each may be prescribed as follows. From Easter until the calends of October. When they come out from prime in the morning, let them labor at whatever is necessary until about the fourth hour. And from the fourth... You've got a strong constitution. Anyone else would have certainly died. What? Let me tell you a little. Once upon a time, there was a young boy. But he wasn't his form. The boy, he didn't... I think I... You know, I... I when I saw it... So the evil... Both of us... You deserve to die. And I'm happy to be the one to kill you. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought we could come to an agreement that left both of us alive. But since there's no convincing you, I'll sir. Just go back and get our stuff back from the chest. Thanks for watching.